Welcome to War Thunder with Subdude. How y'all doing today? Well, now that all the hoopla of the Festivus events is over, uh, we're just looking at the last remnants of the holiday hangar. And as I've said before, we've got, you know, with the addition of the Tier 6 jets, we now have a serious need for Gaijin to spend some time on maps, missions, and, you know, the, the layout of the actual air battles in Air Realistic Air Simulator also. But there's other things that need attention. And look, shown on the screen, I've got my G91 pre-series. Now, the reason I've got my pre-series on here is because I have it pretty much spaded. And I've got the rocket pods. And it's an interesting thing. The Matra rocket pods came in three different varieties. And probably a lot of you guys don't know that. The three varieties of the rocket pods were, number one, a fluted rocket pod, which had a somewhat aerodynamic shape to it, with that was a reusable rocket pod. There was another rocket pod that was not fluted and it was not, you know, it looked very similar to what we have on the screen with a nose cone and a tail cone, which were disposable because they would blow off. And the rocket pod was programmable. Programmable meaning it could fire individual rockets or it could fire a salvo of rockets somewhat like the game is using at the moment. And then there was a third type of rocket pod. A straight disposable rocket pod that fired its 19 SNEB rockets in a salvo and then dutifully dropped off the, the wing pylon freeing the aircraft up for, well, becoming a fighter, which it's supposed to be. Got to remember, this plane was designed as a uh, light attacker, I guess is the best way to put it. It was a light fighter, light attacker, um, winner of a competition, really. For NATO. Matter of fact, it was used by NATO countries. It was used by Italy uh, and Germany, although Germany for some reason didn't like it, and they had the G91 R Slant 3, which had two 30 millimeter DIFA cannons. I like that armament much better than I like the four 50 caliber M3 machine guns. And Portugal, which also used the R3. Now, I don't know of other countries that use the plane, but it is a prime example, though, of a plane that used the Matra rocket pods. Another one would be the French aircraft. And I'm not sure about England, but I'm pretty sure England used something very similar because it was a ubiquitous weapons system. Everybody could use it. And it was a NATO supplied tool. So, a lot of people used it. A lot of people are getting one variant of the rocket pod. And there should be three different variants. A fluted reusable pod, a programmable reusable pod, 
and a disposable pod. Personally, I'd rather see the disposable pod in the game, even if it had a marginally higher value in rearmament. And the reason is because once you get rid of your missiles, your rockets, excuse me, the plane then becomes its baseline fighter. Four fifty calibers and maneuverability out the wazoo. If it retains the rocket pods, that maneuverability and the speed are compromised. Now that's something I really think that Gaijin ought to look into. Uh, it's an additional line that could be put on the plane. Let's look at the modifications. We have plenty of room over here for them to drop in one, two, three different types of rocket pod. Move the bomb up a tier, move the hydras up two tiers, and then put one, two, three different types of rocket pod available for use. Now, some people are going to say, well, that just makes it too powerful too quick. Well, you know what? Everything else is too powerful too quick because, hey, gold, people, gold. Everyone uses it. Don't ever say you haven't because then I'll have to call you a liar. Um, so, three different rocket pods and, again, change the value of rearmament based upon the type of rocket pod used. But in any case, make all of the rocket pods jettisonable because nobody wants to be hindered when they're jumped by another fighter. If you got a fighter that's within eight kilometers and closing, you want to dump that rocket pod and gain as much speed and maneuverability as possible. And the problem is, if you're going in in a ground attack mode, and then all of a sudden you're jumped, you need to ditch the armament for ground attack and go back into air-to-air -air mode. It's not possible. Now, you could go head-on with somebody and just unload a fusillade of rockets and pray for a hit, and the chances are, because of closing speeds and firing arcs, they'll pull the trigger outside of your missile's range and then haul off in a different direction, causing you to waste all your missiles unnecessarily and to no effect. Whereas, if you were able to drop the rocket pods, you would be able to go into air-to-air -air mode confidently. That's all I've got. This subdude signing out. Y'all have a pleasant today, a better tomorrow, and we will catch you in the sky in Air Realistic on the good maps. Thanks, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.